I think I look like, I actually haven't looked in the mirror, hold on. Yes, from Polar Express. It's 8 a.m. I'm teaching class at 9.30 and I have to take my dog out and I have to take the train into the city. You guys, the way I'm going to be turning my head all day, huh? Huh? I'm currently sprinting to the studio. I'm not going to be late to teach my class because I have to be there 30 minutes early, but I'm definitely not about to be there 30 minutes early because the fucking six train. If you guys know anything about the six, oh my gosh, she's a bitch. This is an apology to my class. I was out of coffee, so got a Celsius, and um, I'm gonna be tweaking out a little bit, but you guys are gonna have a blast. Not spawns, but it can be. It is 12.18 p.m. P.m. I don't go to bed this late. I've been really just mapping out my life, saying yes to things that I really didn't want to say yes to for a long time, only for a short time sometimes. It's Monday, a very Sunday Monday, aka Labor Day. Well, I guess it's Tuesday morning now. I think I'm surrendering to life. You guys, it's feeling like fall outside. This week, even though it is the third day of September, something between August, really like August 30th to this first week, and I don't know if it was the energy of the new moon in Virgo, but I'm feeling like I'm moving differently. Now there's some stuff I had to let go of. But you know what? A lot of change is coming, and if I don't embrace it with open arms, it's gonna eat me alive. So, my guns are ablazing. I'm ready to face anything in this bitch. First order of business. Well, I already did a client presentation for the day. Took my dog to the dog park for like an hour and I read a little bit of my new book. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna link it below if you want it. We're going back to Plant Burger because they have a $5 meal deal right now. And that's another thing. I need to figure out how to not share all of my parts on vlog. Now, it's not that I don't want to share, it's just like I don't want it to be so public. So, I guess I don't want to share. There's some things that I do want to share and it's about my writing life. So, we're gonna grab food, we're gonna start the new Substack, we're gonna either hit up Pilates or yoga, a little bit later and then I have a spin class. I was supposed to go on a run. I haven't run in like four days. So back on it tomorrow. I've been watching Pop the Balloon for two hours, not consecutively. It's weird, like I get the appeal, but then also it is a little boring. Hot take. Good morning. 
it's Wednesday. I woke up this morning feeling like absolute shite. I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital. Um, my upper abdomen was just treating me improperly. I thought I might even have to call the ambulance and then evade my medical bills later on. Sometimes, you know, you just need to do some spinal twists and you have to just really like go to the bathroom today. I'm going on my first run in legit. We are pushing a fucking week. Honestly, I need to grab a smoothie because I have not been eating fruits. I have not been eating vegetables. And I really think that's why I was experiencing those stomach issues. So I need to get back on my fibrous shit. Let's go. tripod broke yesterday we're back baby let's see if this looks as good as it did on amazon and if it did i'm leaving my affiliate link below Happy Friday. <sighs> you guys, let's get real. Let's get real today and let's do it in the bathroom because this is my sanctuary. This is my safe space. This is where I have my best thoughts and this is where I shower. And to be honest, I'm a Pisces. So being in water or near it is just gonna be the best thing for me. And I don't care if you don't care about that because I do. And actually, I am in an I don't give a fuck mood these days. It's been a week, to say the least. Wednesday night, my grandmother, my mom's mom, unexpectedly passed away. So I'm just trying to process it. I haven't like gotten emotional yet. I think I'm just probably gonna just let it all out at the funeral, which is what happened when my other grandmother passed away last year. I didn't really cry before and I really didn't cry after. I just, I like, there was a lot of closure there. So I'm excited, not excited, but when it does come, which I'm definitely feeling the buildup because not only did that happen, there's just like other information that just like not as big, but just like have has come to the surface of my life. And it's it's building on staying strong, whatever the fuck that means and that I'm not going to speak too much on. Like, I'm sure I'm going to write something about it 
related to it, inspired by it, I'm not gonna talk about that situation, which I haven't even spoken to anyone about. I mean, it's not like crazy. Like I'm not like pregnant, you guys. Like it's <laughs> no one thought that. September rolled around and it, I was met with changes immediately from the first day of September. I've just been feeling different. I've been having to like move a little differently, you know, dealing with a loss. I do feel, I definitely think I feel it a little bit more for some people in my family because they're going to be feeling it a little more intensely. I'm really trying to cope with it in any way. Like, I am not going to lie, you guys. I would hit the Mary J, but I don't do that anymore to cope with my issues so we're thugging it out we're raw dogging it and to be honest there is no lube included i just have not had this intensive a week in a long long time i kind of just feel like you know in meditation where they say observe your thoughts I feel so disconnected from my own self. I just feel like I'm observing everything going on around me. If there's a way for me to sum anything up in my life with a phrase, it would be, I don't know. 